Uh, Julie Bunn would like Kathy Lomer to address the following. This last year, we were all witness to a situation in which the six Republicans who broke from party ranks and voted in support of the Safe Roads and Bridges Act to provide long overdue comprehensive transportation funding were publicly ridiculed and denounced by their party at a press conference and then stripped of their committee leadership positions. If in your first term as a legislator you were faced with having to take a vote where you personally thought the right vote was in one direction but your party leadership was supporting the other position, how would you vote and why? Well, I am extremely confident in the um, <clears throat> Republican Party and the people that I know that are there. And I um, was disappointed with the six who voted um, to override the governor's veto. They didn't vote with the party, and <clears throat> I haven't spoken to them to, to understand why, but I would not have done that. And I believe that as Republicans, we have a message and that we're trying to carry a message through. Um, it, it's hard for me to think of a situation where I wouldn't agree with my party because I'm in the Republican Party because I am a conservative, because I believe in lower taxes, because I believe in free markets. And um, it's, it's just hard for me to imagine that scenario that I would be having to, do, to face that. Thank you. Julie, would you like to respond? Yes. I am not elected by a party. I am elected by the citizens of my district. My principles for voting are my conscience first, and that's influenced by the evidence, my constituents second, and my party last. We are here to represent the citizens of our district and of Minnesota. Ms. Loma was early criticizing me for maybe having voted too often with my party where in fact the record shows that I frequently, often, vote against my party leadership on taxes, on immigration, on business issues, and some social issues. When the Republican Party did what they did and denounced and demoted their folks, they put out a big flashing, flashing neon sign. No moderates, no independent thinkers, no one driven by the evidence rather than ideology need apply to run for office with our party in Minnesota. I think that's a sad day for Minnesota, whichever party you are. Thank you. And Kathy Lomer, you have up to one minute if you'd like. Well, I, I would agree that I am also voting. I am also here to represent my constituents. And I